Hey guys, it's Caesar Star Gaming back with another uh, Corrupt Universe TCG video. I've made 20 new cards for you guys, making the set officially at 100 cards. I'll show you the entire stack at the end. Um, and some of these artworks are are pretty good on my part, so I'm stoked to show them to you guys. And um, I promise I won't always make. Uh, TCG videos. I know you guys are a little going to probably be a little bored of that. I know you guys came here to see other things. I'll post probably Call of Duty or Roblox or something. And I my birthday is coming up, so I might post a haul, or I will post a haul. Um, I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be getting many more Mario plush because my mom won't let me get more because she says I have way too many. So, I don't know, I don't think I'll be getting any Mario plush, but I'm definitely getting Lego sets, and for I'm getting iTunes gift cards, so I can spend them on Clash Royale, and I'll probably um, download Airshoe back onto my phone, because I deleted it, and make a video of me spending that money, and hopefully getting a legendary card. So anyway, let's get into this. We have Blue Star. 3 magic, 300 attack, 250 it, 300 health, 250 attack. You can sacrifice this card to attack with another star card twice. There's a lot of cards in here that you can sacrifice to do things. And blue star goes well with um, green star. He, he's the boss um, boss creature of the archetype. 5 magic, 400 health, 300 attack. The king of all stars, as he is the eldest and looks after the others, he's a rare. And the reason he goes well with that because he has the highest attack out of all the star cards. So he works well together. You can get 600 damage off on a creature or even your opponent's galaxy if they can't, if they're unable to play a creature. So that goes really well together. Up next, we have a Chlorophyte card, Ellie Lord, 5 magic, 400 health, 300 attack. This mysterious creature is made of all the elements. He controls the weather and temperatures of the galaxy. I made a lot of uncommon cards because I didn't have a lot of uncommon cards before for making packs. Like, it was unbalanced, so I made more. We have another question mark galaxy card, just like Mysterion. But this one, I'm counting it as a, I think, a Bionics card. Or, no, I think maybe a Sailor card. I'm not sure what I counted it as. But, um, it costs 4 magic, has 300 health, 400 attack. This human will fight for any galaxy. In return, the commanders must bring him home. So that kind of makes sense, because he's a question mark, and you can use him in any deck. But you can use all cards in any deck, but, he, the, yeah, the human. We have a new defense card called X-Ray. And your opponent must flip their deck, cards revealed for five turns. So that makes sure that you and your opponent see what cards are coming up next, which can prepare you for something big that you probably wouldn't know about if you, since you can't, you can't usually see your opponent's deck. So this card could come in handy. We have another star card called Red Star from Sailor. 4 magic, 200 health, 200 attack. When this card dies, deal 100 direct damage for each star on the field. So it's like um, a supernova when it explodes. So This is a pretty cool card. I made a lot of sailor cards. 3 magic, 2 is Astero. 3, ma three magic, three, 200 health, 150 attack. And you can kill one creature on the field if you sacrifice this card. So it's kind of a win-loss. But... If you say, oh, well, it can be a win-win. Say you ha your opponent has an Ice Adopt or a Ruby Veil Serpent on the field, then you can sacrifice this only three magic card, which you can get in one turn, to kill off that creature. So he's pretty good, and he's an uncommon. We have Uncommon Fisher from Chlorophyte, four magic, 400 health, 250 attack. Causes an eruption that deals 100 damage to all your opponent's creatures on the field. Also destroys all defenses yours too. That's the only setback, but it doesn't really matter because you're dealing... It's it's kind of like Astro, but it progresses. Like It only deals 100 damage to all your opponent's creatures. 
which can help you actually help you out a lot. It's like a second attack, but on all your bonus creatures. So. You have supply drop, a gone, a grave situation. Bring back a creature from your dead pile. It can no longer use its ability or work with it, it archetype if it has one. So it's pretty, it's kind of like replace, but um, it just has a little setback, but it's still a pretty good card. Even though it can't use its ability or... Well, actually, Replace is just a free play card. Sorry, I don't know why I compared it with Replace. But it just brings back one of your dead creatures, but it also has the setback of not able to use its ability and or, or work with an archetype. If it, if it was in an archetype. We have a pretty cool card here. Mini Bot Producer from Bionics. Costs 6 magic, 300 health, 350 health, 0 attack, and produces mini bots with 100 health, 100 attack every 2 turns. And the bots are count are counters and don't take up creature or defense spaces. So, you just put counters on this card to show you have bots. And you can attack with the bots. So your opponent will have to get through the bots as well in order to get to your to your galaxy. And I, th I, pr I think this is a pretty cool card. We have a Slicer 300 from Myonix for magic, 300 health, 350 attack. Pretty simple card. Slicer has a sharp tongue that can slice through bedrock. So, yeah. We have Small Dude, Large Axes, really weird card, I don't know how I came up with this. He's from Crimson, I think he's one of the only cards I made from Crimson, besides, oh, actually there's another, another card, never mind. Cost 4 magic, 200 health, 350 attack, he can one shot the mini bot producer. He may be small, but he carries axes that weigh 500 pounds, so even, even though he can one shot the mini bot producer, you can use like Bomb Shelter or some other defense or even twin headed flower no not twin headed flower i thought it stopped his attack but then I, it stops its oh, uh magic from producing so yeah we have the simple basic star card yellow star from sailor one magic 200 health 100 attack the youngest of the stars has a big potential we're moving on to better cards. We have Knife Skelly, an easy one magic creature that can that has the same health as a mini bot. A skinless creature who makes knives for his collection. So he's a good placeholder if you're trying to save up for a creature but your opponent has destroyed all your creatures on the field and you just not you're not quite there in elix in sorry, Flash Royale is making me say elixir. You're not quite there in magic. So you can just play him as like, just just to make it so your opponent has to waste a turn killing off a creature that's not that important. So he's actually not that bad. We have Supply Drop Spiked Armor. When your opponent attacks a creature, deal 100 damage back to the creature that attacked. So it's kind of like, um, Deflect except you don't need to be the same from the same galaxy as that creature we have the enchanter weird artwork five magic 400 health 300 attack take control of your opponent's creatures for three turns so he's really good i i think i meant to say creature for three turns so I'll probably change that because that's too OP. We have revamped, reamped vamp. Get it? Four magic, three hundred health, three hundred attack. This vampire can transform into a mechanical bat that travels faster than light. So another simple card. Moving on to the better cards, we have the last super duper really rare I'm gonna make. It's for my sister Katie. Bossicorn because she likes unicorns. And it's the only super duper really rare for Chlorophyte. So, cost 10 magic, 
700 health, 600 attack. Really good. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Moving on to the better artworks. Alright, second and last card. Amethyst Knight. I drew a lot of these cards in my French class when I was in school because we were doing like presentations for a project and I had nothing to do because I already presented. So I was just making card artworks for home. He costs 8 magic, 600 health, 500 jack. When this card dies, split up its health and add it onto all knight cards in play. So, like, you'd split it evenly and then add it onto the knight cards in play. So, he's not that bad. And probably, this is my favorite artwork of all time. He's from Crimson. We have Singed. Just look at that artwork. I spent a long time trying to get the colors right. He has half his face with a skull on the side. 3 magic, 100 attack, 400, 400, no, 100 health, 400 attack, because, you know, usually burn people don't have that much health, but he has a high attack. Burned away from a fire on Crimson, he still continues to fight. So, that's the last of the 20 cards I'm going to show you today. And here is what the stack looks like right now. A lot thicker than before. Sides are getting dirtier, and you can tell these new new ones are the white ones. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I promise I will do some sort of video other than Crab Universe TCG. I'm planning on making a battle video, but I just don't know when I will because I haven't had a lot of time. But I have a four-day weekend this week because of Rosh Hashanah. So, or Yom Kippur, I don't know, either one, but we have Yom Kippur, then and the Yom Kippur Rosh Hashanah the next week, and then we have, or, yeah, you get what I mean. I have off Monday, Tuesday, and then next week I have off Monday, Wednesday, and my birthday is the Tuesday in between those days. So, probably on Wednesday, or Wednesday, or on Tuesday, because I can stay up late because I don't have school the next day, I'll post some haul video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe i want to get to 100 subscribers so bad tell your friends about my channel if they like card games and video games and stuff and yeah see you guys next time